821 hours. Look at this win-loss record. Holy, holy hell. This person has a 66% win-loss record. That's a higher win-loss record than me. All right, Black wants an alliance. I'll take it. Red wants Africa. Let's get an alliance going. I think the six comes down, down, and I have South America. It's a nine, and it kills five units. Can't end a game like that. Yeah, I agree. White was Red's grandmother helping him out. <laughs> That's true. All right. Yeah, red did not reinforce North Africa, so that's a good sign. I think black is going for Europe, maybe? They've got a lot of units over here. All right, 32. So basically 75% of you guys think that I'm going to win this game. Oh no, the, the vote's still going. The vote's still going. Okay. All right. I don't, I kind of brain farted. I was looking at the poll and I forgot to, uh, I buffed this one thinking I was going to attack down, down, but then he, he fortified up. So he's giving it to me. So, I think it'll be fine. Actually, red could have really screwed me over right there. They could have attacked here and buffed this, and I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So, let's see how white gets out of that one. I should have put this. This should have been an eight, but I screwed it up. So. Your allies, why would he? <laughs> True. Most people voted against me. Wait, really? Oh, 70% of you think that I'll win. 30% thinks that I'm not going to win. All right. Hey, look, man, I've been, I've, I've lost games. It's happened. Seventy percent of points think you're gonna win, but ten p only fifty percent people. What? Let me see this. Oh, you're right. Seventy percent of you think I'll win in terms of points, but ten people think I'll win the game versus eleven of you think I will not win the game. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow. So wait, let me get this straight. A majority of people think I will lose this game. But points-wise, all the people who've been watching my channel the most have been voting for me. All right, all right. Got it, got it. I see where your loyalties are. <laughs> We're just playing the odds. Oh, God. I mean, it's true. There's four players here, three of which, you yeah, know. All right, let's check the scores, though. Ooh, 1,300 hours on the red player who's got a lot of, who's got that alliance with me. Three hours, no wins. On the black player, 821 hours. Look at this win-loss record. Holy, holy hell. This person has a 66% win-loss record. That's a higher win-loss record than me over a longer period of time. That is an incredible win-loss record. Holy, this white player is... Dude, that is a monka ass. I agree. I agree. Monka ass win-loss record for white. Yeah, dude. I, that is... That is a win-loss record that I would love to have one day. We were, we were talking in chat how um, I want to hit top 1,000. Or I'm at like 2,000 something right now. Um, it, I'm at like 54% win-loss rate. If I could make it into a 60% win-loss rate, that'd be amazing. I would, that would be such an achievement for me to hit 60% win-loss. Yeah. 
White's got that kind of win loss record, and they already have Australia. We're screwed. Ooh. All right. I think this four is safe here. What do you think? I mean, the 10 might want to come down left. I guess if I attack four to the left, he can come down. He can come down and around if I go four to the left. Okay, he's clearing the way for the 10 to come left. I'm going to go here. Here. Why did white just kill off all their units in the middle here? Because they got an alliance with black and they want to show them how good of a person they are. Uh, I'm pretty sure the way red plays, they're not going to attack me here. And this is big enough now to defend. I think... I think getting North America in this kind of game might be a little bit greedy. People might not like it. We'll see. We'll see. Now, we need to kill off one of the players. Do we kill off black? Let's ask if white wants to attack black. Red's not going to attack me this game. Almost certainly, yeah. White is banking on black to play badly, so they're giving him Europe so he can screw it up. <laughs> Wait, so he can screw it up or he can screw me up? I got to see you win this game. I put 5,000 channel points in. That's an all in and that's close to 4 a.m. Yeah, dude, it's last game of the night for me. I mean, I, I got to win this one. I agree. We got to turn in here. It's Scandinavia for the plus two. But I have a wild card. I want to keep it. So I think I'll wait. He wants me to attack the red player. I got to give a thumbs down to that. That's that's pretty. That's that's a lot. That's a lot to ask for me. Last night's game, Jones, PP Jones, it was a three hour game, maybe even three and a half hours. And basically every, like everyone was still playing the game up until like the three hour 15 mark. And then everybody left except for me. And then we found out that one of the players reconnected and then it was being like played by like a scripting bot thing. It was really weird. It was playing very oddly. And so we thought that it was a bot. And so basically, long story short, um, the game ended. Uh, I did not, I did not win that game. And uh, yeah, I ended reporting reporting the player that we thought was botting. It was a really weird game. Dude, that game didn't end till like really, really late. I, I stayed up, I stayed up really, really late to finish that game. Yeah. Yeah, it was an entertaining game to play and to watch, I think, but uh, but it was not a fun game to play. It was very long and boring. Dude, there was this, that botting weird player. Like, the thing that he did was that he uh, he would, like, watch the timer go down all the way, like, every time. Like, it was so annoying. Like, it's, like, the worst thing ever when someone is just watching the timer tick down. You're like, dude, what am I even doing here anymore? Like, this is killing me. Yeah, it was nuts. How did I lose? Cause um, so all the bots left the game, like and so everyone left the game. It was just bots. But so so then I just like I started playing like I would against bots, you know, like you know I know how to win against bots. So I started trying to win against bots. Then the then the the scripter bot thing reconnected and destroyed me. 
<laughs> yeah, like it was literally everyone left the game and it was all bots. So I was like, oh, okay, great, I'm gonna win. And then the scripting bot thing reconnected. Yeah. And then it just like caught me with my pants down because I was playing like I do against bots, you know, trying to win. Yeah. It was basically like a scripting bot that took the longest turns possible and did disconnect reconnect strat twice. It's like literally the most evil bot to have ever existed on the face of this planet. Like it's just so, so mean, so cruel. <laughs> Can you imagine like if you coded a bot to play risk, but instead of the bot making moves like, you know, every, t every 10 seconds, it took the full 60 seconds to make every move. So not only is it like taking forever, but it's like wasting everybody's time. It's just so cruel. All right. Uh, it looks like I'm getting North America here, but I don't know if I want to get it because people will hate me. Yeah. So I started learning this new strategy that a bunch of master players taught me where you basically try and like kill off the fourth place player. But even though that worked for me for a few nights, most recently, it's not been working for me that well because people see me as a little bit too aggressive. So I think I have to read the room with every game that I play. Some games that I play, I'm playing with other masters or grandmasters. And so that's very obvious, like, oh, okay, like we're all on the same page. We're all doing the same thing. Let's all kill people off. But if I'm playing in our game and everyone's super turtly, it's like you have to play super turtly too because you can't be the only person in the room trying to kill people off because then everyone's going to go against you. So yeah, it's a really delicate balance that I've been kind of like learning about, discovering about kind of thing. That strategy only works with high quality players, not the low quality players. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Asylum. Thanks again. And thanks for subbing. Catch you. Uh, catch you tomorrow. Whenever. Imagine taking a break from TF2 and still running into bots. Oof. You've mentioned that I should try playing totally. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, you kind of have to just mirror what everyone else is doing. Like if other people are trying to kill, then you kill. If you're if other people are trying to turtle, you turtle. So I should get North America when Black takes Europe. Yeah. I kinda need to ask them if it's okay that I take North America. See, they're not finishing Europe, so I'm not finishing North America. <laughs> I think the most turtley player of all is this super high win loss player. Um who's super turtled up in Australia. And I think if the other players will let me have North America, I'll be happy to send units and attack white. Like, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, Black's not very enthusiastic about finishing North America for, or Europe for some reason. I mean, what I would like to see Black do in my position is I'd like to see Black use this 10, kill, 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 buff into Ukraine, buff into Ukraine buff into Ukraine, put everything into Ukraine, then I'll just kill, 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 put everything into Kamchatka, buff this into Kamchatka, red doesn't touch me. So now all these continents are taken, I'm fully buffed on Kamchatka and I'll just start throwing units into Indonesia. But I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. Black is like, he wants Europe, but not really. <laughs> Doing it so slowly. And also, Black is thinking for their turn for a very, very long time. They're going for the full, like, reinforce all your border strat, but it's almost like a no continent strat because they don't have a continent yet. 
Yeah, white's going full turtle. Okay, three comes into North America. Sure. Another plus two on Scandinavia for me. But I want to use my wild card again, so. I mean, I think the plan is still the same. Like, we don't want to finish North America until Black finishes Europe. Now, Red actually has the lead here. Oh, Red puts an 8 in North America and kills the 3. Love it. Love it. All right. Thanks, dude. Yeah, Red wants to see this game end. Okay. I mean, this person's got a lot of hours, too, with a pretty good win-loss record, so... He wants me to attack Red. Give him a thumbs down. Alright, I'm gonna kill White's one over here. Hopefully White doesn't make this like a six or something. Okay, yeah. Fully over here. All right, I'll kill this then. Uh, White says our alliance is over. I'm not worried yet. I think that everyone's going to try and kill White. So, I'm not very concerned that my alliance with white is over right now. Red's a real friend. Yeah, Red's really a really good ally right here. Because he's not only like leaving this open so there's no threat, but he's also buffing this so that he doesn't get attacked. So, it's just he's full on aiming straight at Australia. So, the real question is whether or not black is going to help deal with um, white or not. I think my 36 is putting enough pressure that this white thing can't come in. But I'm leaving it open because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen here. Maybe this guy wants to come in. Yeah, I'm just waiting for black to, to take Europe. I gave him a thumbs up for finishing Europe so he knows that I'm supportive. All right, now we test the waters. Does black attack these things for cards or no? Also, do I close this door or not? 51 is still hidden. I mean, everybody on the board can see me finishing North America. I'm just not doing it. And, and if I'm giving people chances to push back. Like, if they don't want me to have it, they would have stopped me. Red clearly wants me to have it. He wants us to team up on, on Australia. Yeah. He's also unlocking the 51 to come attack me. But I don't think White's going to do that because that would be a complete suicide. I'm, you know, bigger than... Then white. I don't think white would come suicide on Alaska. If anything, white would suicide on black. Not suicide, but break it. Red could destroy white, but they would die right after. Yeah, I don't think red would destroy white. I'm almost at 12 territories. He's backing off. 
All right, that's cool. Yeah, so if Black doesn't like the direction this is going, he might attack Greenland. But if he's fine with it, he'll let me have this. Yeah, Red's still aiming at White, exactly. Alright, Kalev, have a good one, man. How come you don't want North America yet? I want it, but only if, if Black and Red, my allies, are okay with me having it. If they're not okay with me having it, then I don't want it. Okay, there's some weird things going on right now. Black's attacking Red for some reason. I don't know why, because Red was going to help kill White, and then Black just suicided all their stuff. What the heck is this? What the heck? I've never seen anything like this. Why? Wait, they just suicided out of the game. We've got three hours played. No wonder Black has no wins. Yeah, this is very suspicious. Black is White's alt. Yeah, this seems a little bit weird. I'm gonna report this player for collaborating. We'll see what happens. Weirdest suicide ever. Sorry, okay. What just happened? So Black suicided off, and then I missed what happened next. All right, that doesn't matter. I'll take South America back, and then I'll take North America, and then we're chilling, right? Yeah, this is a very weird play for sure. I don't want to kill Black because I'm not that strong. So I'm going to leave this border open in case Red wants to stop me from having this. Because remember, I don't want to piss him off. If he, if he doesn't want me to have it, he doesn't want me to have it. But I want to leave this here because I'm showing that I'm attacking Black. Okay, so it seems like Red's okay with me having both of these continents. Right? Otherwise, he would have attacked Alaska. He would have attacked Brazil. So Red definitely was okay with me having both. Now let's look at White. Is White okay with me having both? Like, White can't break through this one, but he can definitely break through this one. So now we're about to check if white's okay with this. White's full turtle, right? So it should be okay. But I'm not 100% certain. I'm going to tell red to attack black. I want red to have those cards. And I want red to be like a partner with me. Killing white. Yeah. That's definitely the plan to focus on white because white broke alliance with me. Red's been a true ally this whole time. So the real question just comes down to whether or not red's going to help me team on, on, uh, on white. I'll happily remove my 39 off of this and put it on Kamchatka instead and then give Europe to red. Yeah, I agree that black's play is very suspicious. But, like, he didn't do it in such a way that instantly gave White the win. So it was a little bit weird. Excuse me. Give Red Europe and go through Kamchatka. Yeah, that's exactly the plan. Let's see if White stops me from taking North America, though. Okay, yeah, white does not want me to have North America.
Let's see if red wants Europe. Okay. Now white can still break North America by coming through Europe, but I want red to kill black and take Europe. Let's see if red does it. Okay, he's giving white time to figure his life out. I mean, maybe black breaks this, maybe black doesn't. Okay, I should have left this fortified a little bit more. Good to know. It's still very open, though. White's in full turtle mode. White's got plenty of time to change the game, though. He could, like, come with a 64 weapon into here. Okay. White's giving me the cards for some reason. I don't know why, but he is. Is the 63 coming over? No, he's still full turtle. Okay. Sure, I'll just take this, I guess. Yeah, I mean, just give me all the cards, I guess. Sure, whatever. Well, I can't win the game just yet because, you know, I only have 100 units. So I really want red to take Europe so that we can team up against white. Now, if he attacks me in Greenland, then he doesn't want me to have it. But if he goes and fortifies everything to Ukraine, then he's teaming with me against white. And then it's green light go. If he puts a 34 on Ukraine, we're in business. Okay, Red. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Alright, white knows they're in trouble right now. But Red didn't fully commit to it. He only put a 15-15. Where does the 73 go? Here? He's turtle. Okay. He's at 12 units, or 12 territories. So I need to bring him down to 11. It's very easy to do. All right, I'm all in, bro. I think Red was a little bit unsure if I would attack him or something. Maybe that's why he left the 27. Bring your 27. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, White knows they're trapped, but... You know, you don't get a 60% win-loss record if you don't know how to get out of this situation. They know how to get out. Okay, no turn-ins. Just don't use any of my turn-ins until I know exactly what's going on next. I'm all in. Every unit I have is over here. Let's go. Let's go. White showing no intention of getting out. Super weird.
All right. Text the one. Yeah. He knows he's trapped. I don't know why he's sitting, he's lying down taking it. Uh, it's Alaska for me. I guess I'll go to Brazil, be kind of sneaky. Well, me and Red are basically getting the same number of units every turn. So... I'm just like 28 units ahead of him. He's technically getting one extra unit per turn than me, right? Because we both have 17. He's getting 5 plus 3 is 8, and I'm getting 5 plus 2 is 7. So technically, the longer this goes, the better it is for the red player, but I don't know. I kind of want to see red throw some units into the 80. Why well, is gonna suicide on me? You never know. Ah, uh, man, how is this game gonna end? Yeah, Red's catching up here. 154, 169. Well, I have, I have the cards, though. Red's worried about white suiciding. It's a valid concern. <laughs> I mean, the game will end eventually. The question is... How? All right, he's just feeding nine units into me, so I have to take those nine. Peru, Venezuela, Ontario. Venezuela. White's being strangled. Yeah. Suicide on the white? Nah, dog. I'm surprised that white's being so stubborn. Put a 28 out there. Ah, oh, there's nowhere I can go that's not going to trap my 168, huh? Damn, smart play. Leave 30 in China so white gets blocked. Yeah, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Oh my god. He unlocked the 74? The madman. What? He could take cards from me, but he, he unlocked the 74 instead. 
what the? <laughs> All right, these numbers are getting ridiculous, bro. I mean, I killed the nine, so I did something, but then red didn't do the same. How does this end? How does this game end? He's going attacking the one again, isn't he? Why? I mean, there's no way for me to get cards back except for attacking red territories. What the heck? Yo, shouldn't we attack white, red? Like attack the 34, you know? He's he's insistent <laughs> that this is the right way to do it. Uh. Uh-huh. I'm I'm so What the He says me to attack red? He wants me to attack red. What the hell? How's this is how he gets out of the situation? Frick the white guy? 14? No, bro. Oh my god, he's not letting me get any cards anymore. What the heck? What the heck is going on here? My mind is being blown. They realize I'm a threat so they're teaming. Yo, attack white. Thumbs up. Skip card and see what red does. He says, please attack red. I tell him, you attack red. This thumbs up. Ah, uh, this sucks. What is he doing to me? And I have no turn in here. What the hell? Don't trust him. I know, I know. He's trying to manipulate me. We have more production and troops than red. Why are we not slamming the troops into white? Um, Because red didn't acknowledge that I wanted to kill white. I asked Red, hey, can you can we kill White? And he didn't thumbs up. He didn't give me thumbs up. 
And I already killed nine of white's units, and then red didn't reciprocate. He's threatening to suicide on me. He's not threatening to suicide the 63 onto red. He's giving red cards. He's not giving me cards. He's trying to manipulate me into attacking red. Yes. Please attack the porcelain player. Thumbs up, he says. I should have moved the three over, but I, did, I, I accidentally skipped four to five. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> My idea of attacking white is sending 11 units in. His idea of attacking white is taking Australia. I mean, he's basically passing me up in units right now. Red knows he's just playing dumb. Yeah, no shit. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. He didn't know how to send 20 units in. He set the full 40. <laughs> Now we gotta unlock the six so that 57 can go down into Australia. My skull reel is not working properly. There we go. Okay, he just handed me the game. <laughs> Why? He just handed me the game. Got him. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll attack the porcelain player. Don't worry about it. Let me just break your continents first. Okay, I've got a two card lead plus 35 units and I got a turn in on Venezuela. Go to here.
No, oh, I should have moved my 96. What was I doing? No, what was I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, you're right. The throw. Oh my god. I still won. I still won. I still won. Don't worry. I, my thought process was at the time, even though it's flawed, it's flawed. It's, I admit it's flawed. But the thought process at the time was the 84 can't go left. It can only go to the right, which is where my 96 is. So we're chill. So he's going to have to go left or some weird stuff. He'll fortify that down. I'll fortify it in return. It'll be fine. We're fine. He knows it's over. All right, we're chill. Woo. Woo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're good. Although, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh my. God. Wait, he's at his role was actually pretty good though. He's actually not entirely losing just yet. Yeah, he got a good role. Agreed. Agreed. Well, the thing is, I have more territories, so... And I get the next attack. So how do I do this? I want to take Australia and then go into Europe. No, I want to use the, I want to use the 6. I want to use the 6. I go down, clear this, around. No, I want to take North America, too. There's so many things I want. No, that's where the 3 is. I don't, I don't go into that. Wait, taking Australia is really good. No, 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 taking... Turn-ins could be huge. Oh, wait. <gasps> You're right. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't check that I had a turn-in. It's too late. It's late at night, man. It's late at night. I didn't, I didn't check. Oh my god, thank god you said check your turn-in. Oh my god, you're a lifesaver, dude. I literally... Could have screwed that up again. Holy... Holy hell, bro. Dude, you, you carried me right at the end there, man. I almost, I almost screwed that up. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, it's not, but you know what I mean? All right, we got it. We're good. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Almost too many blunders in the game. You know what I mean? Almost too many blunders. <laughs> that was good, bro. That was good. And that's what I was counting on, you know? I was counting on red to mess up and over attack the white player. And he did. Woo. Yes. Had to end the night on a win. Master and Grand Master. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Ah. Oh. oh, that was good. That was good. I should thank you. Dude, thank you, chat. Thank you for helping me not throw. <laughs> thank you for helping me not throw. Oh my god. Almost threw again. <laughs> oh man that was good yeah no no you're right you're right i couldn't have done it without you guys you're right <laughs> you guys are like one of those um hive mind entities you know where like it's not like any individual person it's the collective that's carrying me <laughs> that's good man i need to take you guys with me to the next tournament <laughs> well they'll be like they'll be like yo slin you can't you're not allowed to stream the next tournament because you, it's basically you and 90 p other people against three people. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> I stream it. I'm just reading chat the whole time. Like, guys, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right.
Whew. All right, that's got to give us that's got to give us some rating. I lost 500 rating just there, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure when I log in tomorrow, it'll recover.